and now this. And now, John McCain tells the same joke six different times in six different places. Listen, Russia is a gas station masquerading as a country. Russia is a gas station masquerading as a country. It's a gas station masquerading as a country. Russia is now a gas station re re masquerading as a country. Russia is a gas station masquerading as a country. And you know, I've said I thought it was a pretty good line. Russia is a gas station masquerading as a country. And now, this. And now, newscasters enjoying a pun about today's date a little too much. I'm a massive Star Wars nerd. It's uh, Star Wars Day when we say, may the 4th be with you. Happy Janice? Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Nice. <laughs> Obviously, it's may the 4th be with you. OK, there so I is. actually speak droid, guys. He just said, may the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. Get it? Let's take on the force. I mean, the force be with you. And there you go. Today is Star Wars Day. Maybe the fourth one, or we should say, maybe just the fourth be with you. <laughs> and now this. And now the past week in bullshit national holidays. It may be Wednesday to you, but it's National Biscuit Day to us. It is National Nylon Stockings Day. And it's National Odometer Day, Third Shift Workers Day, Piercing Day, Hepatitis Testing Day, International Museum Day, Pack Rat Day. It is National Ride Your Bike to Work Day. Wear Your Life Jacket to Work Day. Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Day. We'll dance like a chicken day. It's National Limerick Day. So, oh boy. There once was a girl named Sue. That's never a good thing. Apple pie uh, day. yes. It's National Hummus Day. It's National Pizza Party Day. Oh, it's, it's National, National Chocolate, Chocolate Chip, Chip Cookie Day. day. <laughs> and now, this. And now, shame. Shame on the uh, little totalitarians of the left. Shame on HGTV. Shame on Thailand. Yes, Thailand. Shame on, on the Australians. Shame on Warren Buffett. Shame, shame right. on the and, legal and profession. Yeah. Shame on you, Hank Aaron. Shame on you, Copenhagen Zoo. Shame on them. Shame on you too, Chris. Shame on you guys. Yeah, shame on us. It's a rove down dirty shame. <laughs> and now this. And now, Chris Matthews reminds everyone who he used to work for. I worked in, in the business of politics back when you had people like O'Neill, Tip O'Neill, my boss. I worked for Tip O'Neill, as everybody knows, my great boss, Tip O'Neill. Tip O'Neill, my old boss. Tip O'Neill, my old boss. And I get the because I was Tip's guy. Tip, 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 Tip O'Neill. By the way, my old boss, Tip O'Neill, love the Golden Girls. And now, this. And now, political figures telling you what they are not. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a security professional. I'm not a drape measurer. I'm not a witch. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a scientist, but I'm an optometrist. I am not a politician by trade. I'm not a control freak. I'm not a Ron Paul Republican. I'm not a dingo. Well, I'm not a repair man. I'm not a doom and gloom person. I am not an empty dress. I am not a rubber stamp, and I am not a cheerleader. And now, this. And now, politicians literally misusing the word literally. The arrogance here is literally breathtaking. Why should any of us attack children? Literally take food out of the mouths of children. And literally had to bludgeon and pummel them into doing, not physically. Literally went ballistic. Literally howling. Literally strangling. Literally hanging high and very dry. Literally, thank you. <laughs> and now, this. And now, newscasters questioning whether they should be covering the stories they are at that very moment covering. I'm going to file this next story under stories my producer is making me do that I don't agree with, but okay. I know we're tired of covering Miley Cyrus, but we had to include this final headline. I didn't believe our producers when we first started covering the Rodman story. I wish that he becomes irrelevant as soon as possible. There is breaking news now on Fox News Channel. It's not really that breaking. I mean, everybody knew this was going to happen. Even I knew this was going to happen. We saw the obligatory chopper aerials of the Beebs. He's pushing important news off the front page. It shouldn't even be a story. We shouldn't even be covering it. But that's not the world we live in. Why are we still talking about Monica Lewinsky? Why are we talking about 2016? <laughs> what aspect of this is newsworthy? That's Should we really even give that the credence of covering it? Um, I just read it, so I would say I know. yes. <laughs> and now this. And now, politicians using increasingly dated pop culture references. 
Get ready for a lot of Mitt Romney. Put a ring on it. And, uh, Put a ring on it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. deserve to be paid more and I'm only a freshman and I'm already complaining show me the money show me the money as, jo as George Costanza would say when they're applauding stop right <laughs> that takes me back to another modern day poet by the name of Jay-Z and one of his songs he wrote it's funny what seven days can change it was all good just a week ago I've been original co-sponsor of this bill ever since I got here to Congress. If I can quote LL Cool J, the rapper, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. It may go back to a few good men, the movie, Jack Nicholson. You can't handle the truth. But struggling Nevada families are asking, where's the beef? I was thinking about Davy Crockett. I remember the song, Born on a Mountaintop in Tennessee. Green estate in the land of the free. Raised in the woods so he knew every tree. And he killed himself a bear when he was only three. Davy, Davy Crockett. And now, this. And now, newscasters vastly overstating the dangers of everyday life. Stop what you're doing and listen to this. Your face wash could kill you. Too much sugar can actually kill you. Binge watching TV could kill you. Your digital life may be killing you. Is your purse killing you slowly? Are your shoes killing you? Nagging spouses can kill you. Your desk job may actually be killing you. Your daytime snoozing might be killing you. Oh boy. How can my necktie kill you? And now, this. And now, people on TV saying what people are saying. Sooner or later, you have to believe what people are saying. I mean, we can pull out a montage. People are saying we're against immigrants. People are saying buy, sell, hold. People are saying, yeah, guys, what'd you think? People are saying, hmm, on second thought, we probably should have chosen the other guy. And people are saying something to me, and I said, but you don't know what I've been through. People are saying they have tiny little tattoos in the back of their neck. People are saying, I need to fly. It's 4th of July. When do I go? People are saying, listen, even with this insulin inhaler, it's still not going to sell. People are saying, why bother having laws at all? It's just stuff people are saying. And now, this. And now, Nancy Grace pretending not to be able to hear the person she's talking to. I think I need to have my ears fixed. Did I hear this? Did I hear you say they went back some days later? Did I hear you say that both parents were at the graveyard shift? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Did I hear you say house arrest? Did you say that? Sex every night. Is that what I just heard? Did I hear that right, or did my IFB just flip out? All right, what did you say? You had to say something, because I'd do a backflip if I heard that. Have you ever smoked pot? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and now, this. And now, 60 Minutes anchors prompting people to deliver the exact soundbite they need. You gotta hand it to him. Yes, yes you do. He was off and running. He was off and running. One way of dealing with his anxiety is to laugh at it. Is to laugh at it. So it drives the price up. So it drives the price up. You did everything together. I have a thing together. With that cartoon. With that cartoon. He is sort of the father of hot sauce. He's the father of hot sauce. That surprised you? It does surprise me. And you're saying we shouldn't? I think we shouldn't. And there's no reason to prepare. No reason to prepare. And that's essentially a commercial for GoPro. Essentially a commercial for GoPro. All of them banned. All of them banned. With the crowd there. With the crowd right People. there. That's quite an image. Quite an image. It was almost a cakewalk, actually. A cakewalk. Yeah. To beat the system. To beat the system. To cheat. To cheat. And now this. And now, even more 60 Minutes anchors prompting people to deliver the exact soundbite they need. Seriously, they do this all the time. You don't hear the call. You don't hear the call. You don't see the name. You don't see the name. And that was you. That was me. You were Chase. No, at the time. I was Chase. It didn't turn out that way. It didn't turn out that way. Only in America. Right, only in America. There was a backup plan. There was a backup plan. Is that's, that essentially it? Yeah, that's it. That's essentially it. Old heart, new heart. Old heart, new heart. You ended up with the national championship. Yep, you ended up with a national championship. It was a proposal. It was a proposal. To destroy computers. To destroy computers. To destroy computers. It's like Maybe. you can't let go. You can't let go? You can't let go. Respect. 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 And now, 
newscasters misidentifying photographs as selfies. Team USA taking this selfie. He even found time for the obligatory selfie. How often do we get a selfie with a lemur? There's even a doggy selfie station. Look at him. Ooh, nice. That's a selfie. That's the back of a pickup truck rolling down the highway. Well, that's a selfie, huh? That is the ultimate selfie. And now, this. And now, newscasters using a 50-year-old reference to talk about the future. You know, we sort of gauge everything right in life based on how close we come to the Jetsons. Remember the Jetsons, the family flying in their car? The Jetsons, right? Remember that cartoon? Technology is going to make it so that we only work four days a week. Yep. The Jetsons. Does anyone other than the Jetsons and some people in Silicon Valley do this? It's, it's like the Jetsons. Jetsons. It's like the Jetsons. It's like uh, from the Jetsons. Don't you think it's like the Jetsons? George Jetson <laughs> and what was the name of the dog? What was the name? Elmo. How could, oh, how, how could I forget? Oh, Astro. Astro. Astro? Astro was the name of the dog. Our oh, yeah, it was an Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> that was a different little kid. Yeah. <laughs> and now, this. And now, people on the news laughing at one another with varying degrees of sincerity. Teachable moment, Chris. Right. We all need those sometimes. I have them, like, what, every 17 seconds? About that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We're ready, Will Ferrell. I hope it's true. <laughs> Amy certainly is. <laughs> 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 okay. And now, this. And now, words newscasters coyly refuse to say. George was popping the tequilas. Next thing you know, uh, the A word is flying. The A word. The B word is out there. The B word. He called her the C word. The C word. The D word. The E word. Uh, excommunicated. <laughs> the F word. The G word. I want to see a president that doesn't just say the H word. The I word. The, the J word. The K word. The L word. The M word. The N word. The N word. The N word. As in N word mountain. The O word. The P word. The Q word. Now we're talking about the R word. The R word. The, the S word. The T word. It's the old U word. What's the V word? Visibility. The W word. All words that start with X. The Y word. The so called Z word. Now this. And now, people in Congress reminding you exactly how long they've been in Congress. I've been in Congress for. 43 years. I've been in Congress for 19 years. 33 years I've been in Congress. Hey, I've been in Congress three months. I've been in Congress. I've been in Congress. I've been in Congress 25 years. I've been in Congress the last 17 months. I've been in Congress now for 18 years. Here we are. I've been here for five years. Four and a half. 24 years. 24 years that I've been here. I've been in Congress for 21 years. Three years that I know of that I've been in Congress. 19, 15, 15, 14 years. Four or five months now. 13 years and about eight days. 16 months. How many years have you been? in the, the, the Congress. This is my Thank 15th you. year. Thank you.